Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial I would like us to look at uh, the service class. And the service class can enable us to be able to write clean uh, Laravel code. And in this case we can be able to reduce uh, the responsibilities maybe from our controllers and uh, offload them to the service uh, class. This is a um, a fresh uh, is an installation of Laravel and I've used it in a, a previous tutorial whereby we were doing the file uploads and so for you to be able to follow this tutorial you will download uh, the code because I've attached the github link in the um, in the in, in the description so you can go ahead if you want to just uh, code together with me but uh, just to show you whatever it is that it does we have an uploads uh, create a blade file whereby we can come and uh, choose a file maybe from our machine and once we choose that file we can be able to submit and you can see the file is uploaded successfully and also if we go back to uploads uh, dot index method so if I remove that you can be able to see that we have that file with sort of the file name that it had when we were uploading and we can be able to go ahead and download the file and have it in our machine again. Now, um, I would like us to just open the controller whereby we are having all those actions. And um, I am interested in looking at uh, just one controller, in this case, our upload controller. So uh, when we look at our upload controller, it has several methods. And um, when you look at the, the few other methods, you can see this one for the index method, not so bad. And then uh, the create method, we're just returning a view. That one is okay. When we come to the store method, we are having a lot of clutter. As you can see, we are having so much. We are processing our file, and then we are uploading our file via Eloquent, and then we, I mean, we are uploading the file details to database via Eloquent, and then we are uploading our file to storage, and then we are redirecting. So, so many things at once being done in a controller. But remember, even as we have it like this, we have also the store upload request. So in this case, we have a form request which has also assisted us to decouple some of the things. So in this case, you can see we are validating our file using um, app requests, app HTTP requests, and then store upload request. So at least validation is being done elsewhere. So we want to reduce the other piece of code and also be able to put it in a service um, uh, class. So let us go ahead and do it. And the first thing we are going to do is to create the service class. So uh, we just scroll here inside app. We are going to create a new folder which we are going to call services. And then inside services, I would like us to create a file. So new file. And this file, let me call it file service. File service. Forgive my ro wrong choice of uh, wording, but it will just have the purpose. Dot PHP. And then inside this file service, of course, it's a PHP file. So we are going to just open the PHP tag. And then we will namespace uh, app services. Inside here, we are going to have the file service class. So class file service like that. And inside here, I would like us to have a method because we are interested in um, just reducing the code in our upload controller. Or in this case, the store method of our upload controller. So all these that we have here, I would like us to re re reduce it. And uh, so what we are going to do, we are going to have a method which we are going to call store file in our file service. So let me have it here, store uh, public function, sorry. Function store file and then inside here I would like to just copy everything or maybe almost everything that we have here 
So we copy, as you can see, what we are having here is just we are being provided with a file that has been uploaded by a user. And then we are storing it in a variable file. So this one, I can keep it here. But then everything from here all the way up until um, here, I'm going to cut. So you can see what is remaining in our store method. Only two lines of code. I will save that. And then we will go to our file service in the store file method. I'm going to paste everything here like that. The next thing is that um, we are going to actually we are having an error. Yes, class file service. Do not know why that is the error is there. Let me see. It could be yes, there is a there must be a problem here. Yes, I've namespaced, but I've not been able to uh, close it. So that is fine. So everything is like that. So I would like us to go and uh, just be able to have several things from our controller. The first thing that um, I can be able to pick is this file here. So I want to just use my uh, file service here. So we're going to use app services and then uh, file service like that and then I'm also here I'm also going to uh, just uh, um, be able to pass our file into our service and then that you be it because everything else can be processed from there so I save it in a variable called upload file and here we are going to have um, new in this case file service so that is the service that we are working on and we are going to chain the method in our service so let me just click on the file service we have a method called store file i believe so store file and inside here i would like us to pass whatever it is that we are having here whatever it is that we have in this variable here that is request file so in other words the file upload that the user has uploaded and that you just be it uh, here and then, of course, there are things that we have here that I'm going to move. For example, the mod model upload is one I'm going to copy. Maybe even cut because maybe we will copy it because it's being used by other methods. Let me just have it like that. We copy it. But if we are not using it anywhere, then we can be able to just cut it entirely. So I would like to just say use... Uh, app models upload and the reason why we are using it as you can see we are referencing to uh, that method here I, or in other words the uh, uh, model here so after that i believe we will be able also to remember to pass the file here such that uh, as it uh, is passed we can also be able to receive it and be able to process it so i would like to attempt to see if we can be able to um upload this file again uh, upload another file again without an issue so i would like to go to uploads create and here i'm going to choose another file so maybe which file here let me just pick anything like this one here open submit and you can see it's uploaded successfully so meaning our code has not broken and if we go to uploads, if we go to uploads like that, we can be able to find that we have two files. When I download the second one that you have uploaded, again, it is being downloaded. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point. I ask that you may subscribe if you haven't. And I also ask that you may like if you think the video is useful and also share. Thank you very much.